Hey guys, Elementrix here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how to effectively retake a bomb site playing as Breach. In this video we'll be going through Bind and I'll have the other two maps Haven and Split done as well and you can expect those within the next week. Just before we get started, thank you for the support on my previous Breach Guide videos. It means that you find the content useful and I can keep creating these kinds of videos. Also, I recently partnered up with Now Drinks. They have an awesome and healthy product. So if you're just like me and want to stop drinking battery acid while gaming, then I highly recommend you try it now. Pun intended. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you already know what to do. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this kind of content, then why not consider subscribing? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Retakes are quite challenging in Valorant as there are so many different angles and deep corners you need to clear. It is purposely done so as agents have quite a lot of utility at their disposal. That being said, for the purpose of this video, we will assume that you have all your abilities left when retaking the site as I can better demonstrate what I mean. Rather than me just showing you certain spots, we all know that in a live game you won't always be able to replicate what I'm about to show you. So don't think of this as retake spots, but rather how you as Breach can use the environment around you to your advantage. Let's jump into a custom match on Bind. Alright, so just before we jump into the actual retake, um, let's give you a quick scenario here. Let's say that this part here is smoked, and this here is smoked, and the enemies have pushed onto site, and they are... you can hear the bomb plant. So you, you'll know that it's somewhere uh, behind truck or that it's going to be default. Since you're still kind of over here and the enemies haven't pushed out onto this side, you can always uh, use your aftershock to kind of um, try and get an easy kill on the guy that's planting the bomb. And that will put quite a lot of pressure on the enemy team. Um, keep in mind that you should try and combine it with your fault line. So if you hear the plant behind this truck, combine it with your fault line and pop your aftershock somewhere in the middle. If they plant here, they're not going to get killed. If they plant in this corner, they probably won't get killed either. But most of the time, they plant somewhere in the middle, and it's quite a good way at getting um, an easy kill on the guy planting the bomb. Same goes for this default spot here. Most people just run up into this corner, and they kind of plant themselves here, and they start planting the bomb. And keep in mind that they think they're safe, but this is just spammable, right? So you can just shoot through this and get a kill on the guy that's planting the bomb here. Or you can also do something like this. Combine it with your fault line again, your aftershock, and it should get the guy in here. Now, I missed it actually here, but if you hit it into this corner, it will kill the guy that's planting here. So just something to keep in mind that you have a huge advantage when they're planting the bomb to get a quick kill on the guy if you're still on site. It'll put a lot of pressure on the enemy team. So, you know, try and give that a go. Be a bit more risky in that sense. It's kind of like high risk, high reward. All right, so now let's say that they've planted the bomb and you've just come from a rotate from B site and you need to decide if you're going to go heaven or if you're going to go CT. So if we start off with the heaven real quick, there's a nice flash that you can either just pop off on anywhere up here, basically, and uh, it's it's going to give quite a, quite a large area, right? You're going to flash anyone on site, you're going to flash anyone on short, um, and if you actually pop it more on this side over here, you're going to flash someone watching you. Uh, from U-Haul. So it's pretty good to just pop it somewhere over here. And of course, don't expose yourself, but come out from this angle. Blinding. And then come out and drop down as fast as you can. Because the thing with Heaven is that this drop that you're going to do puts you at a severe disadvantage. When you're falling down, you're kind of an easy target. So if you can, if you can get that first flash out and flash everyone, then uh, it's quite advantageous for you to then just drop down. Also, I noticed that there is something a little bit weird where you kind of like are aiming over here, um, somewhere over here, but it actually ends up up there. So let's just give that a go again. Yeah, so aim like on this over here. If you aim too much to the left, it will uh, hit at the back. So right over there, they're flashed and then you can drop down. Check under you here if there's a guy here and you're, you're suddenly on sight. So the thing with retakes, what you want to do is limit the amount of angles that you're being exposed to. So if you're um, if you're kind of coming out here, make sure you stick to this corner. So you only have maybe one angle here. Maybe there's a guy over here and then you can check short. And you're basically trying to expose yourself to as little angles as possible. Once you've cleared them, then you can start moving up. Now, a very common spot for people to do or for people to be is to plant the bomb here and to then go bathrooms. 
And the thing is, like, people have been playing this game long enough now to kind of anticipate that. So if the bomb is planted here, you know, he will most likely be in bathrooms. And a quick way to, to just, you know, double check that is to just flash up here and take a peek. And don't forget that just because there's no one here, he could still be behind this corner waiting uh, for the bomb defusal. So don't assume that bathrooms is clear, clear just because you've cleared this area. Now, out of heaven or CT, I prefer to go uh, CT just because, as I said, that kind of drop is quite, uh, you're quite at a disadvantage when you're falling down. And that means that you're going to have to waste a flash in order to just drop down onto the site. If you're lucky, nobody's aiming at you, but do you really want to risk peeking and then maybe they have a sniper on short or someone's watching you from U-Haul in a very awkward angle? Um, I, I prefer to go CT as I can then clear uh, this entire angle here from on site. Just that's cleared, right? When I come through CT. If you drop down from heaven, you have anyone from this side, anyone in U-Haul, anyone by bathrooms, anyone by short. There's so many different angles to watch. So if you come CT, then you can slowly, slowly start to clear this out. And if you go U-Haul, then again, you've got less angles um, to kind of watch out for. So what you kind of want to do then is um, once you've checked U-Haul and you maybe know that the bomb is planted for uh, truck, they are most likely going to be in uh, in short. And you can kind of anticipate that either short or U-Haul. You can always pop a flash up here to kind of push them back and allow you to push up. Also keep in mind that sometimes someone will be hiding this corner and you guys already know what to do. Just combine your, your aftershock, your fault line with your aftershock. An easy way to clear that corner without putting yourself in a in an awkward position by having to come up here and exposing your back to U-Haul. Now there's quite a lot of different ways you can play it of course. You can either just uh, come up here, which is quite risky because you have bathrooms, uh, short and U-Haul to watch. And probably the best thing you can do is try and work your way into U-Haul and clear this one by one. Again, you need to expose yourself to as little angles as possible. If you're in a 1v1, you have more freedom to move around. 1v2 or more, then you're starting to get into a little bit of, a, of an uncomfortable situation where you don't really know where they are. And that is why limiting the angles is the best thing you can do um, in, a, in a retake situation. Okay, so let's say you've kind of flanked around from B short and now you're on, uh, on A short over here and uh, they've planted the bomb. This is quite a difficult angle to play from as well, right? Because you're you're going to be exposed from anyone playing U-Haul, anyone hiding in this corner, maybe anyone on site. Um, so again, there's quite a lot of angles and there is a pretty good flash you can do in order to cover the entire right side. And um, you can, of course, pop it up there. But that flash is kind of better for anyone uh, behind truck or behind sight. If you pop it on this corner here, it's essentially the same flash as that one, but it's going to be closer to anyone uh, exposed from just outside bathrooms or anyone hiding in this little corner over here. And it's quite easy. You just have to come up here and flash that. Anyone there will be flashed. Anyone at the back will be flashed. And it will give you a good moment to peek here real quick and then... Uh, push up into U-Haul because that's kind of what you want to do uh, is clear U-Haul as well. You don't want to be in a position where you're on site and suddenly you're worrying about a guy in U-Haul or a guy in bathrooms. So you just want to make sure that you clear U-Haul first as well. And that flash over here is really going to give you that uh, two seconds to really try and come up here and get the advantage on the guy in U-Haul. So just to kind of talk a little bit more about this kind of flash, right? It's it's a, a type of flash that you're not um, doing this stuff here, where you're flashing right in front of you and you take a peek. This is like this is kind of useless, and I, and I see it so many times with breach players. They just flash the corner right in front of them. But what is that going to do? It's it's not really going to flash anyone that's hiding into many of the corners, right? So what you need to do is try and flash in further in front of you. That will cover more areas, allowing you to push up. And that's what I mean with using the environment to your advantage. Um, another really good one is over there. If you flash over here, it does essentially the same thing. And it will also get the guy in uh, in U-Haul as well. So try and, try and use different spots. Not only the ones right in front of you. I think a lot of breach players are limiting themselves by not using... Um, a lot of different opportunities that that you know are quite obvious 
but it's quite easy to miss because we're just so used to doing this. And then peeking. All right, so now we're on B site. And um, on B site, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit more about using the environment to your advantage. So you guys start to think a little bit more about um, some more spots that cover more areas rather than just flashing, um, you know, something right in front of you, whatever there is in front of you, and then taking a peek. Because essentially you're just limiting it to one um, one area. And it's always more advantageous if you can get, for example, if you only want to peek hookah, it still, it still works to your advantage if you can get a flash off that flashes long as well, right? So that, that kind of forces them to hold off the rush. And one of those flashes is somewhere up here. You can pop it over here and then take a peek on hookah even take a peek on uh, garden it not it will not reach the guys completely on long but if they've already pushed up uh, into garden they will be flashed by the, f the flash that you've uh, managed to land up there as you can see here it's a pretty good one um, right out in the open so anyone here will get flashed again uh, another one that you can do is um, on this box here without ex even exposing yourself right you just flash it and then peek and if you're stuck into this corner here then don't flash too low, try and flash a little bit higher up, as then you get the guy on long, get the guy in hookah as well. And then it's an easy way to then reposition yourself if you need to. Um, talking about a little bit uh, on the retake side of things, so usually they'll smoke this off, um, and the best thing you can do is, if you hear the bomb being planted, is to try and flash somewhere high up over here, and to go out and try and get the, the surprise um, on the enemies because they're not going to expect you to kind of rush out through the smoke if you've managed to pull off a flash you come out here kill the guy and then you see how little angles you need to cover you just do one at a time because if you wait for them to plant the bomb and then reposition themselves they're going to get very comfortable and it's going to be a lot harder for you to then um, uh, do a retake so try and put pressure on them by uh, by flashing and then going out that's like one of the best things you can do as breach all right, and if we come here to uh, elbow and we talk about retakes, then it's quite challenging because maybe you'll have a guy back there, you'll have a guy in hookah, you'll have a guy playing garden, maybe even this spot over here, so uh, or even actually even sight. So there's just so many different angles to to watch out for. Um, and the first thing that I like to do is make sure that I clear the corner over here. Make sure that's clear by popping my aftershock just through that wall. You can combine it with your fault line, of course, again. And then pop your aftershock. To clear that corner. And then try and think about, okay, what is the next flash you can do in order to um, come out over here? And again, most of you will probably do this. And peek. You're not even going to flash the guy at the back. You're not... Uh, you're going to flash someone in hookah. You're not going to flash anyone in garden. So, then again, try and think, what if I flash up here? I get the guy at the back, I get the guy in hookah, and I get the guy in garden as well. And uh, that's basically going to allow you to get the first peek on the guy in hookah, the guy over there. And then if you need to peek the guy in garden again, you can flash it over here for another flash into hookah, even someone on site and someone on garden, right? So in my previous video, in the Ultimate Breach Guide, I talked about how you can flash something on the left side in order to flash people on the right side and vice versa. So try and uh, try and do that because it's it's really effective. Um, it's more effective than doing this and then peeking over here, right? So try and find a spot that covers more areas, allowing you to peek one angle whilst at the same time it's covering your other angles because they're flashed. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then drop a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and if you want to see anything different for future breach guide videos. But anyways, take care, stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys later.